Hello, everyone. This is Felicia Bender, the practical numerologist, with your numerology forecast for the uh, seven personal year in October 2023. So, real quick, if you do not know your personal year number, or maybe you're new to numerology or just need to be reminded, please take one moment, go to FeliciaBender.com, click on monthly forecast. There is a calculator there that will calculate your personal year number for 2023. Uh, you can also uh, do a very easy, very easy calculation for that. It is in the description box below. You can do that manually. The reason I bring this up um, every single time that I do this is because these forecasts are based on your personal year number, not on your life path number. So those are two entirely different things in numerology. We just want to make sure you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the correct forecast. So it's based on personal year. It is a seven personal year for you. It is October. So this month in Oct uh, October is a, a number eight personal month for you. All right. So what does that mean? This is a month to begin to work your way back. <laughs> I kind of doing the, the long rope pull. We're pulling you back to work, uh, to work into the practicalities of life, the material concerns. Take time to shake off those more ponderous energies of the year and begin to open up to get, get getting your feet kind of situated and on the ground. So if you kind of close your eyes, close your eyes for a sec, think back to January of this year. So 2023, beginning of the year, January, what was unfolding for you then? What was happening? Uh, what were you feeling? What were the opportunities or the challenges, all those things that were coming in? What was unfolding right then? Because the energy of the month of October is the same personal, personal month energy. It's an eight. You started with an eight and now you're in an eight again. So um, it's this empowerment and financially focused number eight. So I find that when we repeat a cycle within a cycle, so meaning that you're revisiting this four weeks of a number eight energy uh, that you already traversed through at the beginning of the year in January. So it's really uh, kind of fun actually and beneficial to look back see what was happening during that period of time, and then see how you might be offering uh, be, be offering yourself or being offered <laughs> uh, through all through all things, through the universe, through experience, through all of that, uh, offer these opportunities to um, walk through it again and up level your experience. So you're you're really getting this exciting opportunity to integrate the uh, this these magnificent and powerful and empowered energy of the eight uh, one more time this year. So um, it really is a time where you can uh, elevate, integrate more deeply. Uh, the lessons and the opportunities of the number eight. So in some way, shape or form you have been, and this is what comes to me. Do you remember the, do you remember the ground control to major Tom, David Bowie? You've been, you've been sitting in a tin can, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm that way. I just, I'm a visual person and then I get song lyrics and I can't help myself. So, um, and yet it is, it's like you've been sitting in this tin can during your spiritually probing and deeply contemplative seven personal year. And the crescendo uh, to this stage happened last month in September. So how did that play out for you? All kinds of eureka moments, I hope, really some deep layers of yourself, of your personal truth coming to the surface for you to really embrace and really see with much more clarity, right? Now you're gaining your bearings, you're getting some traction uh, to move all of that planning, all of that knowledge, all of that spiritual growth, all of that organizing. Uh, you're building it now and putting it into play in a way that you haven't been able to do. I don't mean you haven't been able to do, but the energy, the whole uh, construct of your year has not supported nor allowed this to happen until now. So you haven't been doing anything wrong, all right? I've been trying to support you 
all year long with this go go really believe me it'll it'll break through soon and yet it can't break through without you really going through this rather arduous process of evaluation and soul searching so october is imbued with the energy of the powerful and financially focused eight very different vibe than what you have been immersed in all year long um and yet what I would also say is, you know, really pay attention to this and to the feeling and to the momentum here because uh, that you are moving into an eight personal year in, in two months, right? Uh, at the beginning of 2024, you're going to be moving into an eight personal year. So you get a little bit of your, you get to dip your toes in the water right now. You get a little appetizer about what is coming up for you for 12 months solid next year. So take notice really about how it feels to you and how it aligns with you. There's going to be a lot more activity this month and more thoughts about money, about business, and about what success actually means to you. Because after the, these months of, of really deep, um, deep levels of searching within yourself, that may have changed those all of those concepts may have altered uh through all of your experience and all of your thoughts and um meditations uh up until now for the from this uh seven personal year business affairs have possibly been relatively quiet uh most of the year and when i say that i mean haven't been um, leaping forward. Business can be on your mind and you can be doing all kinds of things to be uh, getting that business organized, realigned and ready for the eight personal year. And yet um, business during that seven is usually not in super speedy launchy phase. It just doesn't work that way. So yet um, what I would say is probably much to your relief, movement can begin now, uh, the movement in October is going to, uh, it's going to be the wave, right? You're going to catch the wave and ride that wave toward the end of the year. So you're just starting to feel the rumblings. Major business advance advances won't truly start until the new year begins. And yet some of those ongoing ventures uh, will step into the spotlight this month, right? Things might start to come together in ways that you um, have only dreamed of uh, for the past, for the past, what, nine months uh, uh, of this year. So now you're starting to feel the compulsion to step up and become more visible, uh, yet also be aware that it continues to be that year of planning uh, rather than flat out doing. So you're going to continue to massage um, these ideas, the the ways you're doing things, the organizational patterns, and also your knowledge base uh, that is going uh, that is ar around this. And this can be in business. This can be in your personal spiritual growth. Most likely, it's all of the above. And yet, um, you you can't you cannot discount the spiritual growth in terms of in that seven personal year turning to spiritual modalities, learning about numerology that you never thought you'd ever learn about in your entire life, um, learning about, I don't know, other tools, conscious breathing, uh, hypnotherapy, uh, maybe maybe some energy work, maybe uh, Reiki, anything of that nature is often what someone will kind of stumble and bumble into <laughs> in their seven personal year. Uh, and so it is going to become a stepping stone to your continued growth and your continued uh, pathway towards self-actualization. So empowerment is a theme for you in October. And in an oxymoronic way, it really collides perfectly <laughs> with the energy of your contemplative seven personal year. I know some of you will argue with me on that. And yet let's let's step back and think, okay, so the seven personal year is about gaining your truth, gaining a real, real down and dirty um, connection with yourself, right? with your true sense of being. So 
How are you challenged with stepping into your personal power? That is part of the truth-seeking, self-seeking of the seven personal year. And yet it's also very much a part of the eight. Where is your sense of power? Where is uh, the empowerment here? So what consistent issues and stumbling blocks might you personally experience in this arena? So that's going to be a, a question that you can really, uh, I don't know, chew on, <laughs> ponder, massage, whatever you want to say about it. But it might be something that comes up for, um, I don't know, for to, to, to resonate with you and for you this month. This is the month to reflect on the consistent issues that keep you from stepping into your full power. Where are those blockages? Uh, how can you dismantle them? How can you see them? How can you dissolve them? Do you give yourself away maybe in relationships? Maybe you devalue your skills and talents in the workplace. Maybe you lack follow through and consistency and commitment regarding your physical and spiritual health or other aspects of your life. So those things will are really touchstones for both the seven and the eight. And you get to work with that combination of, of energy in October. So these issues, wherever and whenever they might hit you personally and individually, they're going to be front and center right now. So um, so be prepped and ready to take those on, right? This is the month to start laying out your plan, even in a more practical, uh, logistical way. I'm sure you've been thinking nonstop in your, in your seven personal year, ruminating um, and, and looping about what next, what's my plan, how do I get clarity, all, uh, you know, all those things. Yet now you have everything you need to actually put it on the table and start putting the pieces together. It has been a spiritual and emotional ride this year, and you'll be approaching everything differently because of it. Isn't that fantastic? It really is uh, amazing uh, as you get to this point in your seven personal year. What felt dark, what felt heavy, what felt you know, uh, devastatingly difficult. Now you can turn that corner and go, oh, wow, look, look, you know, look where I am. Look what I've discovered. Look, look uh, how I've grown in so many ways. So the energy of the seven is not, as you well know, quick, impulsive. It's really slower. It's more percolative and somewhat cautious. And so uh, you've been stewing in that juice all year long. So suffice to say, there has been a lot going on in your internal world. Lots of life's bigger questions have been roaming around <laughs> inside of you, wanting to be seen and have their turn at the podium. So from October 28th, uh, onward, you'll start to recognize uh, the signs of some endings, some transitions in business matters or your personal life. Uh, this can also be both, but or, or one or the other, it all depends on you. But this is beginning to take form. So from uh, the end of the month, from October 28th on, because you're going to be bridging into that completion energy of the nine, uh, but the 28th is a, is a key date. So finances and empowerment are themes for you next year, and you're getting a taste of that right now. So October is set up for you to get a handle around uh, an expansive view of yourself and your place in the world. Career and the material world will be kind of elbowing their way uh, to the front of the line soon. So really enjoy these next few months of, I, I use air quotes here, of downtime because uh, even though there is downtime in the seven, it really doesn't feel like it. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of internal work that you uh, have been doing and will continue to do uh, through the end of the year. So, um, you know, at the end of the year, you're going to wish you bottled some of that energy <laughs> uh, to use in your eight personal years. So don't don't want to don't rush it. Don't wish that things happened and that you could be, you know, run, run, running right now, take these last couple months to uh, 
to enjoy yourself, to kind of relax and get yourself situated and rested up because next year is going to be uh, uh, your power year, the beginning of this uh, three-year transition cycle that you're going to be starting. So I would also ask you, uh, how has your sense of trust been engaged or tested this year? Trust in yourself, trust in others, uh, trust in the universe that it has your back <laughs> and it hasn't turned its back on you right? And continues to conspire in your favor, even when it doesn't quite make sense what's happening when and how, and yet to have that that uh, sense of trust, because that's something that is really uh, at the front of the line in a seven personal year. So October throws you a few curveballs, yet I know you can handle it. <laughs> I know you can. You've made it this far. So it is uh, really just a warm up for 2024. All that learning you've accumulated this year is going to be put into play, into action soon. And this is a great month to get uh, acclimated to that more forceful environment you'll soon traverse uh, through. So uh, you're probably putting things more into material form that have mostly been either in your head or on, on paper, right? Now you're going to get to implement some of those things and give it a go give it a give it a try so onward and upward and uh i know this is going to be a very um a very powerful and empowering month for those of you in your seven personal year so that is your that's your forecast uh for for october so if you are numerology curious i just uh, ask you to head over to feliciabender.com there is everything there for the for for the numerology curious from, gosh, from sessions to charts to all kinds of free material, uh, learning about numerology, monthly forecast, you can get that in writing. We have it here uh, on in video, but you can have it in writing there. And uh, I don't know, so much more. There's even a certification cl class if you really, really are into numerology. So check it out at FeliciaBender.com. And in the meantime, I'm wishing you the absolute best October. And uh, I'll see you back here for November's uh, forecast.